Hey everybody, how are you guys? Hope you guys are good. So I want to take a minute and talk about Alec Baldwin. And yesterday he was officially charged with involuntary manslaughter for the death of Hutchins, the cinematographer from the <clears throat> movie Rust. Okay? Now, they said, the prosecutors said that um, he skipped... Um, the required firearm safety meetings uh, before the movie. The one that he did attend, he was preoccupied. He was on his phone half the time, and it had to be cut short. Um, they're saying that in that specific scene that he was that he actually fired the shot. Uh, he did not need to be firing the shot. There was no reason for him to be firing the shot. So that's what they're saying, and then. They're also saying that because he was the producer of the movie, he should have had more safety meetings with the cast and crew, and he did not do that. So, you know, he should be responsible for that. Um, and my thing is, I mean, not for nothing, but who, you know, what actually happened here? Like, who is responsible for... I mean, somebody definitely should be held responsible. I mean, that young mother did not have to die. There was no reason for that. Um, I'm just curious if, because people have died making movies before. You know, accident freak things happen. Now, I could see if it was a planned thing and he had a vendetta against her. And you know what I'm saying? I can see that. But I'm just curious, you know, does it, I mean... I get that he should be charged with something, for sure, because he was the producer. He didn't have the safety meetings. He didn't attend safety meetings or whatever for firearms. So, I mean, I get that. I'm just wondering about the actual gun itself. Like, what happened there? Guns are used in movies every day. You know, freak accident, or, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments below. Now, on the other hand, though, Baldwin has been in so many freaking westerns, so many western movies, him and his brothers. You know, so he's been around the set. This isn't his first rodeo. He, I'm sure, has taken a bunch of firearm safety courses to make those movies, unless that's a new requirement. I'm not really sure. But either way, he's been around westerns you know doing those kind of movies and shit for you know years and years so i'm sure as far as being on set with weapons i'm sure he's totally you know educated on all of that so this is you know this is kind of just cra this is crazy to me you know him and his family they're from new york he was actually born in amityville and they're around syracuse all the time you know they Everybody, you know, he's seen everywhere around central New York, but, so I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think that he should be charged with involuntary manslaughter? Do you think that, you know, it, that, I mean, freak accidents happen, and unless they have a reason to believe that somebody had a vendetta, or somebody put, you know, loaded the gun with a live round, or, you know what I'm saying, like, it, Unless they have that, do you do you think that somebody should be charged? And do you think the actor should be charged? Or do you think, like, the... Well, the other one, the person who was responsible for checking the gun and stuff is also being charged. So, there's that. So, I just wanted to hear your guys' thoughts on this. This is, you know, everybody around here is talking about it. Because, like I said, he's from here. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please hit that thumbs up. Please sub to the channel. Um, links are all down in the description below for anybody that wants to help out. I love you guys. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Keep asking those hard questions and keep spreading that light. Have a good night, everybody.